This is an example using C MooneyWin to reduce a night's imaging data to get a light curve of a eclipsing variable star, in this case UU Aquarius. <clears throat> so we want to create a new project. And the defaults will probably be OK. Make sure everything looks like there's nothing strange going on. Pick an observatory where the data was taken. Find the files that you want to use. Choose your calibration. And do the photometry. Once the photometry is finished, all the stars will be pattern matched and lined up and they'll extract the magnitude of your variable and comparison stars that you choose on the default image. If you've chosen the observatory correctly, now when you choose the coordinates for the star, it will allow the heliocentric uh, correction to be applied in the right manner so that you'll have heliocentric Julian Day as output if you chose that. And now all we have to do is choose the stars that we want to be extracted. You can have multiple comparison and check stars. That just means you'll have extra columns in your data. But three is enough. Sometimes one of these other apertures will be less noisy. Uh, sometimes the third or fourth aperture, but it definitely goes up as the aperture goes up and includes more noise and sky and other stars. So usually the first aperture is the best. Sometimes the second or third is. and then of course it will generate the light curve <clears throat> and you can look at the light curve of the variable star as well as against the check star and look at the comparison in check star and notice that on this scale the eclipse is almost a magnitude and a half and the difference between the checks and comparison star is uh, well, less than a tenth of a magnitude across here, so it looks very pretty. So we'll save that data. <laughs>